and welcome back to another professional prep video. In this video, I will be discussing points of inflection. Now, points of inflection follow directly um, from concavity and the whole increasing, decreasing, positive, negative discussions that we've been having. So that's why this is a great follow-up video to the concavity one. So once again, I'm sorry about my uh, graph here. It's definitely not very precise, but um, nonetheless, it's a graph and it's a graph of G prime. And the question that we're trying to answer in this example is, where does G have points of inflection? And let me specify that by where does G have points of inflection, I mean the X coordinates where G has points of inflection. Let me just write that in there. I know that I left out an O there. I'm just gonna abbreviate this like that. There we go. So in order to solve this, you obviously need to know what points of inflection are. So they're actually, rather simple at this point because we've already learned where uh, we've already learned concavity and increasing and decreasing so now this isn't going to be that challenging um points of inflection occur where concavity changes so what i mean by that is we learned about concave up and concave down that's what i mean by concavity and so but when we ask where does g have points of inflection i mean where does G experience concavity changes? So now that we understand where points of inflection occur, we can generalize this as well. So G has points of inflection where G changes concavity or using the first derivative example, where G prime changes from increasing to decreasing or from decreasing to increasing or where G double prime changes from positive to negative or negative to positive. So in other words, where G has points of inflection, where G changes concavity, G prime changes from increasing to decreasing, or vice versa, and G double prime changes sign. And that's just, um, you don't have to memorize that, that's just if you understand the previous videos, then you'll already know that. All you have to know about points of inflection is that the concavity changes at them. So now this becomes rather simple for our example here. So which one of those three do we need to use? Well, we need to use the G prime changes from increasing to decreasing or from decreasing to increasing because after all, we have the graph of G prime here. So what we're looking for here is increasing to decreasing or vice versa, so decreasing to increasing. So now this shouldn't be that difficult at this point, as long as we understand this concept, this should be rather easy. Um, you should know that obviously the answers are gonna be X coordinates as given. They're not going to be intervals for this. You might be asked an interval where a graph is concave up or increasing or decreasing or positive, and those we can do but um, points of inflection are a single point, and in this case, we need just the x-coordinates. So let's examine the graph now. We're looking for increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing. So we're going to start out increasing here. It looks like we're increasing all the way up to right here. Right here, this is a point of inflection because... Um, so I know that this graph is probably a little bit counterproductive. I should have made it more obvious, but this is going to change from increasing to decreasing right at this point here. So we're talking x equals 2. It's increasing up to here, or at least it's supposed to be, and then we drop down. So x equals 2, and then we see another one of these points right here at x equals 3, because as you see, it goes from decreasing to increasing here. So this is, x equals 2 is, is an example of increasing to decreasing, and x equals 3 is an example of decreasing to increasing. But you can really use, um, it doesn't matter which one it is. All it matters is that it is changing um, from one to the other. And so that's why our solution on this one is going to be x equals 2 and x equals 3. Both of those are points of inflections on the graph of g prime, um, given the graph that we have here. And that's all I have for you for this point of inflection video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email us or leave a comment. 
Um, I'm looking forward to hearing some ideas from you guys about future videos that we could make because we are taking suggestions for those. But otherwise, I hope you have a great day and that's all I have for you. Happy learning, everyone.